Hello and welcome to another series from me, Paraplays, and a continuation of Brothers in Arms. Today it's going to be Hell's Highway. Now I've missed out the second series in Brothers in Arms due to it being quite buggy and I had to re-record quite a lot of the videos in order to be able to get them out. So I thought we could jump directly to this part, part 3, which for many is the pinnacle in this series. It's a new engine, the characters are fleshed out more, we have new systems needed for lighting, there are new gore physics, ragdoll physics as a cover system, and it really is a more up-to-date version. Now we know that Randy Pitchford has said that there will actually be another game coming that they're working on, but it won't be out this year. So this is probably a good time, a refresher for us to get into this classic, amazing series before that game comes out. So let's jump in and get boots on the ground. Now the good thing about this game is that it, it's there are flashbacks to the first game, such as when Baker is in the aircraft about to jump. We will see that, but from a different perspective. We'll also get to see Leggett, who if you remember was a private first class, given command of a set of troops for his first time and then managed to get them all killed. And if you remember, it sent him crazy and he stood at the precipice shouting at the tank before he was killed. All these stories are going to come back in a much more fleshed out, detailed, visually rich world. So I hope you enjoy watching this series as much as I'm going to enjoy playing it. So let's get boots on the ground in a respectful, historical way. Welcome to Brothers in Arms. Welcome to Hell's Highway. See you on the other side. <laughs> 